Wi-Fi getting disconnected automatically, it is one of the most common issue I came across. Being a tech guy, still sometimes this issue occurs on my iPhone as well. So now how to fix this? There are multiple ways or multiple methods to fix this issue. And I am damn sure at least one will work for you and solve your issue on your iPhone about your Wi-Fi. So now let's start the video and surely solve your issue. So first of all, it is always better to check the Wi-Fi you are using. It is really good or not. What I mean by that, the issue you are facing, it is only with you or others as well. For that, take other iPhone or other devices and connect to same Wi-Fi and check the issue is occurring on their device as well or not. If not, then there is an issue with your iPhone. Otherwise, if other devices connected are facing same issue, then it is a problem with your Wi-Fi router, right? So, you know it. Now, if the issue is happening with your iPhone only, then let's start the other solutions. So, if the issue is with your iPhone, now second thing what you can do, just go ahead and check for Wi-Fi assist. For this, do one thing, go ahead and open settings. In settings, scroll down and open mobile data. And here, scroll down, there is an option called Wi-Fi Assist. So basically, it is a feature on your iPhone where whenever your Wi-Fi network is weak, that time, as an assist, as a support, your iPhone tries to switch back to mobile data. That time, it will automatically disconnect your Wi-Fi network. So here, it is always better to disable Wi-Fi Assist on your iPhone because Again and again, it will keep on disconnecting your Wi-Fi and switching back to your mobile data. So, just go ahead and disable your Wi-Fi assist and then you can try for other solutions. Third thing what you can do is just a no-brainer. Just go ahead, enable airplane mode and disable it. And here, just go ahead and remove the Wi-Fi device or Wi-Fi network from your iPhone. That is, go to settings, Wi-Fi any Wi-Fi network you are using, tap on I icon and here forget the network and just reconnect the network on your iPhone. Like that you are reconnecting your Wi-Fi network along with that whatever glitch is there will be solved. So try that. Next thing what I can talk is that at your current place wherever this issue is occurring, if that place has a more than one Wi-Fi network and those Wi-Fi networks are on your iPhone, just do one thing, go ahead, open those Wi-Fi networks and just disable the auto join. So any other networks on your iPhone which are there in the device list or a network list, just disable auto join for them. Because what happens whenever your current network fluctuates, that time those other networks will try to reconnect on your iPhone due to auto join is unable. Just do one thing, just go ahead and disable auto join for other networks on your iPhone and try that again. This might also work for you. And here, just to confirm, you can do one thing, just reboot your iPhone. That you can try as a basic thing, otherwise check for a software update. For that, do one thing, go to setting, go to general and here, check for software update. If any, immediately go ahead and update your device because if it is a known issue for your Wi-Fi networks, any glitch or bugs that might get fixed on your iPhone immediately. So check that first immediately. And the last solution what you can do is reset your network settings. To do this, do one thing, go to setting application, go to general, scroll down till the last and there is an option called transfer and reset iPhone. Tap on that, again tap on reset and here choose reset network settings. So once you do it, automatically all your network connection will be get back to your default mode. So any glitches, any customization, any modification with your network will be default mode. So anything will be completely clean like a clean slate. From here, go ahead, open Wi-Fi and reconnect your Wi-Fi network for this. And guys, out of the given solution, I am damn sure at least one will surely work for you. Because for so many years, whenever this issue occurred on my iPhone, 
I have tried only these given solutions and they have worked for me. I hope similarly they will work for you as well. If anything works for you, please comment below which one so that the other people also will get the idea about the solution. Until then, I hope you like this video and if yes, then please give a like and subscribe. Until then, thank you very much. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.